Huh? Don't worry, let me teach you. So integration by parts is something that lots of Calculus 2 students kind of fear for some reason. Um, it actually is just filling out this formula, okay? So if you have an integral in the form of the integral of u dv, that just becomes uv minus integral of v du. So really, the most important thing is picking your u. So in your integral, what should be your u? And u, as you can see, becomes du on this side, right? So u becomes du. So it needs to be easy to differentiate. Okay, it needs to be easy to differentiate. And so now when you pick your dv, okay, as you can see, your dv over here becomes a v over here and becomes a v over here. So what did we do? We got rid of the derivative, or you can think of it like that, right? We got rid of the derivative and we had to do anti-differentiation or integration. So this should be easy to integrate. And that really is all it is. So we actually use integration by parts whenever we're dealt with a product of two different functions. So it's kind of like the product rule for integration, something like that. Um, now, I want to share this uh, mnemonic that you can actually use. So it's LIATE. You can come up with however you want to remember that. <laughs> but it's like a hierarchy of how to choose your u and v. So how do you use this, right? For example, you have your integral of x e to the x dx. So it is a product of two functions, so we can use integration by parts here. Now, we kind of um, analyze that one of your functions is algebraic, and the other one is exponential. So in this mnemonic, whichever one comes first, okay, in this case algebraic, that would be your u. And whichever one comes next will be your dv. So it's a simple rule of thumb to know which u or which dv to use. Now remember, it's not strict, it's not a rule, but it will certainly help you. So let's do an example. Okay, so our first example over here is the integral of x sine x dx. And I have everything we need, which is our liate and our formula, right? So first, let's identify what u and v is, okay? So here we see an algebraic function that's just x, so we have an a. And then we see a trigonometric function that's sine x, so we have a t, right? So I said that the first thing that comes up is your u, and the second thing that comes up is your dv. So right off the bat, we have u is equal to x, dv is equal to sine x dx. Now just to mark it for clarity, we have our u, we have our dv, so we have these terms already. So now we just need what missing terms? We need our v, and we need our du. So let's try getting that. For our du, okay, we simply differentiate both sides. So du, so what's the differential of x? That's just 1, okay? And for v, we want to integrate both sides, okay? So we integrate both sides. So that would be v is equal to, now what's the integral or the anti-differentiation of sine x? That's just negative cosine x okay very very simple and now we have all the ingredients that we need to fill out our formula so the integral of x sine x dx so again this part was our dv so that's this part then this part is our u that's this is equal to uv so u v so that's x times negative cosine x, okay, that's the first term, minus, okay, minus the integral of v, where's v? v again, so integral of negative cos x, okay, du, du, so that's dx. And then we can finally evaluate this last term over here is equal to negative cos x cos x, right, minus now, what's the antiderivative of negative cosine x? That's simply negative sine x. And don't forget your plus c. So this, honestly, this part in the middle over here can just become a plus. So let's change this into 
a plus. And that is your final answer. Okay, I feel like the first one was a little too easy for you, so let's try out this new one. So we have our two functions over here. The first one is algebraic, x squared, and we also have an exponential. So that's u and that's your dv. So let's write that down over here. We have our u is equal to x squared, and our dv is equal to e to the x dx. So first thing we can do is differentiate both sides of this. So that's du is equal to 2x dx. And we integrate both sides of this. So that would be v is equal to simply e to the x. Okay. Okay, that's quite straightforward. So let's fill out our equation. We have uv, so that's x squared, x squared, multiplied by e to the x, okay, easy enough, minus the integral of v, e to the x, du. And here du is 2x dx, right? Now, we have run into quite the problem over here. So we see here, okay, that we kind of need to do maybe integration by parts once again. So let's try that out. So now our smaller guy over here, how do we do it? Let's look at our Li8 again, and we see that we have an exponential again, and we have an algebraic again. So this would be again your u and your dv. So let's write that down. Our new u, okay, for this smaller guy is 2x, and our new dv, okay, our new dv is again e to the x dx. And so we wanna do the same thing where our du Okay, we differentiate both sides, so that's 2 dx. And then for this dv, we integrate both sides, so that's v is equal to e to the x, and there you go. So now we can finally evaluate all of this as uh, uv, again, so that's 2x multiplied by e to the x minus the integral of v du, so that's e to the x times 2 dx, okay? So that would equal to 2x e to the x minus, okay? We can actually pull out the 2, okay? So we pull out the 2, and then simply the antiderivative of an exponential function is still that exponential function. And so this guy is equivalent to this guy by integration by parts. So now let's combine everything. So again, as I've said, this guy by integration by parts is the same as this expression over here. And now we just copy out this expression. So that's x squared to the e x, or multiplied by e to the x, minus this whole thing, okay? And so this would equivalent to x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus, because there's a double negative, 2 e to the x, and that is your final answer. So you see that we did integration by parts twice, but ultimately, it just comes down to how you get your u, how you get your dv, your du, your v, fill out this equation, and use li8 for all of those. So thanks so much for watching, and hopefully, you're not so scared of integration by parts anymore.